Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is Zero from TechDracker.info, and today we're taking a look at the test server. Yes, once again, but this time I'm actually on the test server, and we can actually look at some of the stuff. So we're going to take a look here at a couple of HD models, and after that I'm going to jump into a game, and we're going to see what kind of damage sounds we have and gun sounds and that sort of stuff. So, um, I'm going to grab a website here to really see what the differences are, because I don't own all of these tanks, so I'm not going to spot them all just off the bat. And we have lovely people who actually research this kind of stuff, so I'm very thankful to them. So, let's take a look here first at the model. We're looking at the Fosh, uh, well, basically the AMX-50 Fosh 155. I always just call it the Fosh 155, I think most people do. So... Um, one thing I instantly noticed is that this thing now has um, track guards here on the front, which it didn't have before, if I'm not mistaken, but I don't own this tank. So that's just going off my memory, but I don't think this tank actually had these, so this might actually help you. It's not going to protect you against um, getting penetrated or anything, more than likely, but it does add an extra layer, so if people are shooting um, heat, the heat might actually explode on this track guard, doing less damage to your tracks and even less to your tank itself. So, um, I can imagine there's some situations where this will actually help you a little bit, but overall it's not going to do much. So let's take a look. 20mm um, side skirts have disappeared. I'm not entirely sure what they mean by that, because the side skirts are still here. Maybe these don't count as armor anymore, or I'm not entirely sure. They look pretty damn thick, to be honest, so I'm not entirely sure what they mean by that. Uh, Mantlet got buffed to 310, so uh, pretty much unpenable, close to it. There's a couple of APCR or heat rounds that might be able to go through, but pretty much most things won't be able to go through. Um, but the signs of the Mantlet are now weaker, and I'm going to assume that they are talking about this spot, which should only be 60 millimeters now. So pretty much this thing... Uh, I don't know how to put it. It kind of got nerfed. It kind of got buffed. It's a bit of a toss-up. Um, I'm not going to go over all the stats for every single tank here, but it's hard to say with this one. Um, some of the parts in this thing got buffed. Some of them got nerfed. So overall, I think it's going to be roughly the same. There's not going to be too much of a difference here. So, yeah. Um probably going to be the same, maybe a little bit stronger in some cases than it was before, but it, it, the mantle is now tougher, so this is pretty much unpenable, so if they shoot you here, you know, nothing's going to happen. Um, let's take a look. Um, yeah, it, it's pretty much the mantle now is tougher. The upper front plates, let's see, lower front plate is now 62 degrees, was 59 Upper front plate is now 55, was 54. So, yeah, again, a little bit of a difference, but noticeable? Nah, probably not, but it looks nice. I mean, it looks like a nice little tank. And I'm still looking forward to getting this thing, even though it's been nerfed into the ground. I still want to get one. Moving on, E25. This little bugger has been hd defined as well. Um, <laughs> we're not going to look at the armor profile of this thing. I mean, let's be honest. Armor profile? Really? No. Moving along, the T25 here got an HDification as well. <laughs> of course, we have the uh, bent fender. Let's see. Um, this thing actually sort of got buffed. I do believe that both these weak spots have now been removed. Um, yeah. The machine gun ports and optics are as thick as their surrounding armor, so these are no longer weak spots, so that's good. Uh, hull side armor behind the tracks is 50 millimeters, so we got five extra um, millimeters of armor here, which means side scraping is a little bit more feasible. Um, spare tracks creates an extra 10 millimeter. I'm looking where the hell this thing has spare tracks. Oh, here. There we go. We have a little bit of extra armor here on the engine deck, I guess, the side uh, engine deck. Rear hull now sloped um, at 75. Okay. Awesome. So this part here, any gun that is um, 75 millimeters or... Huh. 75 millimeters or smaller is going to auto-bounce on this sloping. 
or if they're at the same elevation as you. And he, but they're probably gonna ricochet into the back of your turret and still pin. <laughs> so overall, this thing, it, its armor is not bad, really. This thing can actually bounce quite a bit because of the funky angles on some of these things. So yeah, overall, it seems like this thing might be better in armor. Um, but apparently the tank has become a little bit taller. It did seem a little bit taller. Okay, so it actually got a little bit taller. Hmm, that's a bit of a bummer. Means it's going to be more difficult to hide. Turret ring is now 60 millimeters and even smaller. Wow, nice. A turret ring that you can almost not see got 25 millimeters of extra armor. That is nice. One cupola, uh, cupola, cupola, cupola got removed, and the other one shrunk. And got thicker, plus 25 millimeters. Yeah, this thing is tiny. That, that's pretty much unhateable. And the other one got m removed. Awesome. This thing just pretty much got buffed in armor. Just a little bit taller. That is awesome. Let's see. Moving on. I'm skipping a whole bunch of tanks. I mean, a Chihachi, Nichi, Nu, Keiho. I mean, who cares? And there's really not much that changed in the armor. Crusader, not really that interested in a Sexton 2 AT15. <clears throat> Excuse me. There we go. Looking good here. Love the uh, tracks. Like, this track looks like it has grip, like it can climb a mountain. <laughs> and this seems to be more sloped now than it was before. I don't remember it being sloped in such a uh, inverted C shape. Uh, C? V. Or carrot, whatever you want to call it. Um. Does this thing look bigger? Is this an extra hatch? I don't remember that one. Let's take a look. What did I say? Frontal hull slope below the gun changed from uh, 62 to 59. And the upper area 54 to 58 lower. Okay. 76mm uh, gun weak spots. Uh, mantlet weak spots, excuse me, around the gun has been removed. So, awesome. That has been stronger. Um... These are now better sloped, these areas, also good. Um, okay, the slope on the um, hatches here has changed, making them a little bit more resistant. What? Oh, awesome. They've updated the information boards here, I didn't even see that. Awesome. I like what they've done that, that they actually add this kind of information into the game nowadays. So they actually show you, um, like this, that it works better now, that, with an ELC of course. <laughs> um, what's this, vehicle physics, yeah, that's awesome. How you can turn with the actual keys there, that is sweet. Well done, Wargaming. Um, <laughs> oh crap, there's actually a hole here for my shot. Uh, but anyways. Uh, round stuff is more round, has a lot more round stuff. Uh, okay. Mantle is much better than it was before. Uh, and the rest are minor buffs. So pretty much this thing just got minor buffs all around. Um, a lot of the armor has been rounded a lot more. Like these corners and stuff have been rounded off. Um, like I said, this back is a bit different in shape. So if somebody shoots you here, you actually have a... You know, depending on the caliber of the gun, but a decent chance to bounce. And, yeah, overall, what is the back has changed as well. I don't think that was sloped like that. That seems pretty thick too. So overall, this thing pretty much got buffed. Skipping the artillery because seriously, who looks at artillery? Um, I mean, when you're playing one, you're in top-down view, so you don't see your own artillery. And by the time anybody spots you, you're pretty much dead. So what's the point of HD artillery? But, oh well, um, moving along here. The T1 Heavy, this thing seems like it has changed a lot, to be honest. Um, this thing doesn't even look the same. I mean, these tracks are sticking out a lot more than they were before. I mean, you can hide your entire frontal hull now with the tracks. Pretty sure that wasn't the case before. Look at this stuff. You can just... This thing might be able to angle much more effective now. I'm not entirely sure how thick this is, though. Um, 76 millimeters. Okay, this is not very thick. So if you angle like this, people are just going to pin you right here. But, yeah, looking good. Um, I like the looks of this thing a lot more now than it was before. Before, it was just a big experience pinata. Now it actually looks like a decent tank. 
Um, let's see, side of bump on stock turret. Well, we don't have a stock turret here mounted, but back buffed, stock turret, blah blah, blah. front turret, face entirely 102 millimeters. Um, so the turret pretty much got buffed. That's nice. Upper front plate no longer has a bump for the machine gun housing or thinner areas. Um, upper front plate slope increased from 22 degrees to 30 degrees, so it sloped back quite a bit more, making the effective thickness a lot better. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, pretty much overall, uh, they've changed a lot, as you can see, like I said. Um, overall, it seems that this thing is pretty much the same. It got some buffs in the turret, it got some nerfs in the armor, it got some better sloping on it, so that evens out a little bit. Um, pretty much overall, it's gonna be the same-ish. Next up, the T20 has been hd defined as well. The turret looks very different. Um, I don't remember it having that sloping on there. That was a gun metal now. Very tiny one. Um, let's take a look. Uh, no bumps on side hull near suspension. Yeah, this thing has been flattened out. Yeah, that is nice. Um, hull hatch is no longer slightly thicker than roof. So okay, they've. Uh, I think this one. They've sunken that one into the armor. Hull bump under gun. That's right here, I guess. Um, got quite a decent buff of, uh, yeah, quite a decent buff in armor. Upper front plate is now 46 degrees instead of 48. Lower front plate is 55 instead of 45. So lower front plate got a buff. The upper front plate got a nerf in sloping. Unless they made it thicker, which I don't really see. Um... Okay, so basically, okay, so this tank was already garbage to begin with, and basically they buffed the lower front plate because of the steeper angle, everything else got worse, pretty much. <laughs> Yay, on a tank that already is a underperforming piece of garbage. Fantastic! Now, moving on to something very interesting. I'm gonna give you a second here to figure out. Like, this thing, of course, got HDified. It looks great, but what is different? It took me a second to realize it. Did you see it yet? How about now? Yes, you are seeing it correctly. This tank is no longer a open top vehicle. That is a gigantic buff for this tank. HE from artillery and stuff wreck this thing because open top vehicles take full damage if the explosion hits the open top it does full damage regardless so this thing got wrecked by HE because of it and it has a close top turret now this is amazing a massive buff for this vehicle and on top of that where is it you can mount vents now because this is a closed vehicle only closed off vehicles can actually use vents so um, pretty big buff, that means you can actually buff your reload and your aim time on this tank by 5% for your crew. Yeah, so pretty big buff there. Um, the, the roof here is 38mm thick, so it's not very thick. Artillery will still be able to pin it more than likely, but at least you're not auto-taking full damage. You know, they have to actually pin before they'll do full damage. So, that is pretty big. So, um, you also get these hatches, of course, which is technically a new weak spot, but they are around 200 millimeters and they are sloped and rounded. So, yes, it's a weak spot, but everybody, are, no, not everybody, but a lot of people already knew this weak spot. These flat bits here are pinnable with most guns. Um, turret ring has been buffed. Wow, plus 50 millimeters. That is nice. Uh, turret sides near the front. Ooh, these things actually got 12 millimeters of extra armor. They are now 139 millimeters. Mantlet is now 203, so the gun mantlet got a gigantic buff plus 70 millimeters. A uh, hole behind the mantlet is uh, larger and less covered by the gun, so there is a armor hole behind here. So do keep that in mind when you're shooting this thing. Um, slope things on the hull, a track, okay. Whole hatches got removed. 
I'm pretty sure that's these things that got removed. And yeah, it's for an HD tank. This thing looks very clean. Like these things normally are, well, they're sticking out, but it looks very clean for an HDification. Like most tanks, I don't know, they look, you know, you, I don't know. Uh, this thing looks very, very clean and slick and. Um, well, I guess it has a bit here. I don't know. Like, there's no dents in the armor. There's no texture to the actual armor. It's very flat armor. I guess I have a little bit in the front here, but hmm, I don't know. Um, I don't want to call these bits here being sloped like that. But I'm going to assume that these are pretty much auto bounces and they have tracks on top. So, um, I'm going to say that this is a pretty big buff. Getting a turret roof here. Being able to mount vents, that is a pretty big buff. So, um, if you play this tank and you enjoy it, rejoice. Um, I hated this thing. I actually stopped playing this line because of this tank. I couldn't stand this damn thing. But, that's just me. Uh, moving right along, the IS-6. Looking good. Got the complimentary log, of course, because you need your log. <laughs> Obviously. And it looked like somebody sat down on a turret <laughs> and made this thing flatter. Now, this one we'll look at in detail a little bit more. Turret slope on the front and sides noticeably better. So, these slopes are better and this one is much better. Yeah, we're starting to get to something. Um, the small 150mm spot on the turret roof for a periscope has been removed. Okay, mantlet is more sloped from the front. This mantlet, as you can see, quite a bit of sloping. And just checking, yep, it's HD. We have uh, the actual uh, rifling in there. Armor hole behind the mantlet is so small now that gun that the gun covers it. Mantlet 96 is god mode now. 150 millimeter angled plus 150 milli millimeter flat. Blah. Driver's hatch is now 110 millimeters instead of uh, 90. That is this hatch here. This was a weak spot that you could pen with a lot of guns. That's going to be a bit more difficult now, giving it 20 millimeters more. Driver's optics area no longer thinner than the upper front plate. I um, I'm, I'm going to assume that's this bit here. It's kind of hard to see. It's a little bit dark, but that area there. 120mm lower front plate overlaps on the upper front plate is noticeably larger. Um, what? <laughs> Let me read it again. 120mm lower front plate overlap on the upper front plate is noticeably larger. I'm gonna assume that's like these bits where um, the two meet. Um, spare track on the rear hull at 80mm zone. That's 20mm extra. Right there, 20 millimeter of ass armor, always good. Additional 20 millimeter, 20 millimeter. Blah. Upper front plate angle changed from 64 um, to 65 degrees. Okay, good. Um, low front plate angle buffed from 51 to 53, and side hull armor from 44 to 46. So this slope changed as well. Um, rear hull slopes both decreased by a degree or two, so there's a little bit less sloped here. Yeah, it's ass armor, I mean, people are more than likely going to pen anyways. Um, lower edge of the sloped side hull now slopes down at 45 degrees with a side skirt over it. That's like behind here. Um, top of the uh, cupolas are now rounded. Uh, I look rounded. Awesome. So, <laughs> this thing got buffed. <laughs> Pretty much every piece of armor on this tank got buffed. You have better angles. Um, the weak spots are less of a weak spot. The turret is more rounded. The mantlet is better. <laughs> I, I don't care. I own one, but holy crap. This thing really didn't need that much of a buff. And this was a pretty big buff. <laughs> Oh, we're gaming. Don't ever change. So, um, we have a couple of tanks here. I'm not sure what they did, but they just um, put it in the patch notes as improved models. 
So, I'm going to assume that they made little changes here and there. Um, we'll just take a look. This thing was HD fight a couple of patches ago, so I'm going to assume that they just added little bits and pieces. I'm looking at this thing. I don't remember it being there. And this bit of track. But that could just be me. I mean, you know, that might have just been here already. I'm not entirely sure. Of course, they don't mention what changed. So, Same goes for the Centurion. Here it is. Um, actually do this. There we go. I can actually see all the things that changed. Centurion again. Um, little changes. I'm not sure what they changed or what is different. Um, it looks like they removed some of the scratching on the side. I think this thing was a lot more scratched than it. I'm not sure. I don't know. Maybe they cleaned the model up a little bit. It looks a little bit cleaner than it was before, but I'm not entirely sure. So, let's dive into a game and let's listen to some of the new sounds, shall we? We'll be right back. And here we are. So, new sounds, as you can hear. You're hearing the uh, suspension creaking and peeping and that sort of stuff. Um, some guns going off in the background. I'm going to purposely get shot a bit in this game, so don't expect good gameplay. Um, on the bottom left corner, you can actually see a speedometer now. That is new. So you can actually hear the engine working here when I'm turning. Um, I'll shoot the gun once we get into position. A couple of times from inside and a couple of times from outside, so you can hear the difference. And yeah, I'm gonna hopefully let you hear some of the ricochet sounds as well. Oh, you see that? What the hell was that? He sort of drifted. Whoa! What the? Holy crap, this server is lagging. Did you see that? We went straight through him. <laughs> oh man, this test server is laggy as all hell. My lag indicator is just continuously red, so... Yeah, really don't expect any good gameplay. This server is terrible. Knocked over a tree before I even got there. Seems legit. At least we overtook the uh, ST1 here, so hopefully we're gonna be in the front here and get shot a bit. I'm trying to turn here. It's hard to do with this kind of lag. So. Whoa! This lag! I can't even. I can't even turn here. I'm, I'm trying to uh, turn away here. That went straight through him. Wow, this is so impossible to play with this lag. Holy shit, Rook. Finally, put a show in. So, driver's dead. I hit four. Oh, that is new. Supposedly, they should only um, put another shot into his face here. And he gets finished off. Let's move up. Got to be careful with artillery here. As we get shot from the side here. And we get annihilated. Great. My god at this lag. Holy flipping balls. I couldn't even move. I couldn't do anything. My commands, you know, when going forward, when going backward, had about 5 seconds delay before they were executed. Holy flipping balls. Um, yeah, they have some sort of TD sitting in the base, probably an ISU or a Waffen Trigger bullshit tank. Let's jump into another game. We can actually listen here for a second. Let's switch to this one. I mean, I don't have to play. We can. Bullshit TDs sitting in the back there. I really wish they changed this map. I mean, just put some TDs there and it's pretty much instant win. As soon as you win this flank, you die. It's so ridiculous. There's no way to get past that shit. One of those maps that really needs changing, but hopefully soon. Never was a big fan of this map, there's just a lot wrong with it. Sorry for the 
intense lag here. But, yeah, those are the sounds. Let's get a little bit closer. Not everybody is a big fan of the new sounds, but every time they've tried to introduce new sounds, there's people that love them, there's people that hate them. I, for one, I like these new sounds. Um, the only thing I don't get is the track sound. I'm not sure if that's a bug, but you know the track fixing sound? You hear it like every time. I'm really not sure what the hell it is. Found yet another shell. Well, not us, but him. So, the IS-6, quite a bit stronger. It doesn't work against bullshit buff and draggers that shoot you in the side, though. Where did he get pinned? I think it's driver's hatch there. I mean, it's still a weak spot. It's 110 millimeters, and it's sloped quite you know, drastically, but it's still a weak spot. So that wee 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 thing, I think is a notification that you got critted. Like something, some of your modules got taken out. Or a crew member died. Yeah, you're not gonna win that with my tank. He is firing gold. <laughs> That's pretty obvious. If he's pending this uh, ST1 here this easy, he is definitely firing gold. There's no doubt about it. He gets finished off by a teammate. Good job. Did he miss or did he just not pen a Waffen Trigger? If he didn't pen, then I call hacks. Um, he's the last guy alive. Yep. Every time you get credit, you hear that. Me, 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 me. This premium fire extinguisher puts out the fire. And gets finished off. So, let's try another game, shall we? So, let's try something completely different. So we can hear some different gun sounds, and we can also try some power sliding. I'll head down the hill here. Shots coming in. Not sure if it was by my own team or not, but yeah, it's some power sliding just because we can. So let's go up here. Let's see what we can spot. If we can spot anything, that is. So, there's a tank. Somebody murder him, please. Come on. Murder him. I think he spot me by now. Ah, we missed. Darn it. Nope, now we got spotted. Seriously? After all that? Now we get spotted. So, I'm gonna have to say that that track kind of fixing sound is very strange. I still have yet to figure out what that is. Whoa, with the lag. Put one in, grid something on him. And we take him out. Pull back. There's no artillery, by the way, so we are safe from that. So. Come on, peek out. Come on, you know you want to peek. Come on, come on, boy, come on. Aww. Oh, he's peeking. Yeah, don't quite have a good pressure to shoot at the lower plate there. I guess we can try it there. I don't think so. No, I'm gonna spot it. That's not good. Let's move down here. Move up. Whoa, what is lag? This is so difficult to play, guys. Wow. I mean, I'm getting lag city here. Well, we got spotted, but we are in a somewhat safe spot ish. So, yeah, 
chance to go wide. Sadly, still alive. <clears throat> so we can spot this dude. Yes, we can. Put an eyeshot into his ass. Well, not just his ass. So, don't care. There's a rock between us, so good luck with that. Are you cliff dived? So we don't have to worry about him for now. I guess we can just set up over here. Shit, let's spawn it. Oh crap, he did turn around. Whoa, 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 whoa. Not cool, dude. Not cool. So, this is a loss. Ow. Really? In pen? Oh, screw it. Am I gonna die to you? Suck it! Wow, where the hell did that shot go? Let's just go nuts here. Why not? Oh man. I guess he's having just as much lag as I am. I guess I should probably aim. Suck it! Damn it! Nah. <laughs> oh well. So, that is the test server. I probably pissed him off royally. <laughs> Didn't really care. Oh man, that was fun. I love my Type 62. It's an awesome tank. So let's take a look at how we did there. Pretty terrible, I'm gonna assume. <laughs> yeah, terrible. Doing, uh... Well, not top damage, certainly not, but top experience. Thousand spotting, yeah. <laughs> well, at least we made 21k profit. Too bad it's on the test server, and we have 92k, or 92, 92 million. So, that is the test server. Um, hopefully you heard some of the ricochet sounds. Um, the gun sounds, uh, some people like them, some people don't. Some people, I saw some, uh, a comment on Saturday's video that the guns all sound the same from inside the tank. I guess that is sort of true. Um, but in a lot of cases, it will sound sort of similar, I'm going to assume, from the inside of a turret. I've never been inside a tank that actually fired, but I'm going to assume it sounds roughly the same because you get a muffled sound and... Um, yeah, it, I'm gonna assume. I'm I, again. I do know. I'm assuming here, but um, the inside of the turret, I would think, sound roughly the same. It's loud as hell. You have your headset on, you know, your headphones, so you can't hear shit because it's loud as hell. So it's always gonna sound extra muffled, and it's loud as hell. So I don't know if you could really distinguish. Maybe between a really big caliber and a really small one, yes. But anything between, I'm not sure if you really could distinguish it all that much from the inside. Overall, I think it's a massive improvement. Um, the new physics are great. Um, there's some weird ass quirks, but uh, the good thing is the way they did it now, you can actually play this game and not even notice the new physics. Um, when I say you not notice, then I mean you will just drive around and things will work like they did before. There are different options now. You can turn quicker, you know, that sort of stuff. And I'm gonna have to get used to that as well. And you can actually see it inside the game now. Uh, where's that? That one. So, 
with W and D you make a faster turn, with W, D and space you make a shorter turn, but you lose a lot of speed, but you can make a much shorter turn. So, you know, you have options now, but you don't have to use them, which is great. Anyways, um, hopefully it's give you guys a little bit of a better overview of what's going on on the test server. Um, it was down due to issues. Some people were reporting that it was due to people, you know, Europe being banned or something. No, had nothing to do with that. They just had some gigantic issues with the server, um, which led them to take the server down. So that was all. Um, apparently it's fixed now. There's a gigantic waiting line to get in, though. I had to wait for 6,000 people to bugger off before I could get in. So I'm going to make room for somebody else now. I am done with the test server. I think I've tested most things and looked at most things. New HD models look great as always. And new sounds. Some people are fans. Some people are not. I will put up a poll in this video. Let me know. What do you think? Do you like him? Do you hate him? What? Let me know. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, please subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one.